A salmonella scare is linked to raw tuna. It's now sickened 53 people in nine states. And the Department of Health says most of those cases are right here in California. Now, raw tuna, of course, is used made as a, as a popular sushi dish. And this outbreak has been connected to sushi tonight. So we wanted to know what are local sushi restaurants doing to keep customers safe? CBS 13's Anjali Hemphill is getting answers. It's a busy Friday night at Lou's Sushi Restaurant in Midtown Sacramento. Depending on the tuna, sometimes we age it for a day, sometimes two. Sometimes Owner Lou Valenti says raw tuna only has a shelf life of two days. Major obstacles are keeping it cold and keeping it out of the light long, as long as possible. A salmonella outbreak linked to raw sushi tuna has sickened more than 50 people in nine states most of them in California. And that has Valenti worried about his bottom line. It could be detrimental if people really s drop sushi altogether. At nearby Osaka Sushi, owner Kevin Ho says the news has him extra cautious. The fish, no fish, we can like throw away, we don't use it. 31 of the salmonella cases are in California. And so far, the State Department of Health still doesn't know the source of the bad tuna. We've had our busiest lunch ever today, so it hasn't affected our business at all. For some sushi lovers, the news won't have them putting down their chopsticks anytime soon. And it's a situation in which you shouldn't need to overreact because, you know, it's, it's just it's a small minority. I'm still going to eat some sushi, yeah, yeah. And salmonella is a bacteria and the most common source of food poisoning in the country. Symptoms include diarrhea, cramping, and fever.